Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a rough histogram in Google Sheets. So here we have our single variable, okay, x, and here I've set up some important things we'd like to calculate first before we jump in to make a histogram. We'd like to know the minimum value, so we'll use equals min, the maximum value equals max will do that for us and the number of observations in our sample which is symbol n and the count function will do that so quickly I get some interesting and important facts here statistics if you will from my sample data so that I can construct my histogram so to use a rough rule of thumb I'd like to get approximately the square root of my sample size for the number of class intervals I'd like to end up with. So SQRT of the sample size tells me that I should end up with roughly four. Now, uh, making a histogram has an art and a science to it. So if I end up with five intervals, I'm certainly not gonna shoot myself in the foot, okay? So, to start at my minimum value at least and go all the way up to my maximum that's why I'd like to have these so let's see how wide roughly my intervals need to be so I'm gonna do 98 minus 15 divided by 4 tells me that I should my intervals should be around 20 in width so I'm gonna start a little under the minimum at a nice clean number and go up by 20. And then I'm going to continue this keeping the width exactly the same to less than 50. And 90 to less than 110 should cover me. I could stop here because now in this interval I'm going to get the maximum value and here I'm going to grab the minimum value so I have everything covered here okay so, and I ended up with five so I'm close to that rule of thumb of four that I used okay so I, I got five okay so now in this column, this and this column is only real is only really for the functionality of Google Sheets. I'm going to get the maximum of each of these intervals. So the maximum of this one's 30. Of this one, it's 50. And let me also zoom in a little. Okay, here it's 70, 90, and 110. And all that's left for me to do here is to count how many of these data points fall into each one of these intervals okay and then it's in order to not have to do that manually especially for the for a big data set I, I'm going to use a function called frequency and it's an array function so first thing you want to do is highlight where you want it to take place and then start typing equals frequency open parentheses First, highlight the data, okay, comma, then highlight this column, the maximum of the intervals. Those are the maximum of these guys, right? Close parentheses, then hit shift, control, enter, shift, control, enter, and then enter, okay? And you get this little superfluous zero here. Don't worry about that. These are the numbers we're interested in here. And in fact, to make it clear, let's put them in a little table. Okay? So we see that there are four observations between 10 and 30, seven between 30 and 50, three between 50 and 70, and so forth. These should add up to 16, right? And to spot check that, we can highlight them and look at the bottom right hand screen we see 16 perfect also there are these other kind of spot checks as well okay so now using this we can make a bar chart which is going to serve as our histogram okay so let's we can pre-highlight 
go over to insert chart pick a bar chart if you click switch rows and columns it'll get rid of the gaps which we do not want gaps and although this isn't really intuitive why this gets rid of the gaps it serves our purpose okay and now really what's left to us is to tweak these titles a little so let's quickly customize let's just call this a frequency histogram our horizontal axis should be just x the name of our variable and our vertical axis is frequency okay go back to start and yeah looks pretty good to me uh, we don't really need a legend let's see if we can get rid of a legend here Okay, and now we can click down here, insert, and this will insert the histogram into our chart. Oh, I'm getting a little, something went wrong, please reload. Let me just leave it here, I'm seeing my histogram, I don't want to lose what I've done here because I'm done. Let's just take a quick look at the histogram, even though it's a little chopped off, if I scroll a little bit to the right, we can see it. We see that we have a pretty right skewed distribution here. If I were to trace this with a smooth curve, we see I have this kind of shape going here. It's telling me most of the data is on the low end of the range of X. And only a few values are up here on the high end. Okay, so if, if I were to summarize what we learned about the distribution of X I would say it's slightly right skewed or positively skewed okay but I'm not gonna do too much more analyzing here with such a tiny data set um, the point here was to teach you how to create a histogram and just very roughly give a little analysis of um, what it represents okay so I hope this was helpful. This is how you make a his this is how you can make a histogram with Google Sheets. Okay? If you want to also learn how to make one with R or Microsoft Excel, I have tutorial videos on those as well. All right? So, hope this was helpful. Make sure to comment, share, and subscribe. Until next time, have a great day.